everyone. In the previous class, we learnt about uh, some of the support system and the determination of uh, their stiffness and the maximum support pressure. We also saw that uh, how can we take care of the situation when two types of support systems are uh, provided in the uh, single application. So, uh, today what we will do is whatever that we have done till now as far as Ladani's analysis of rock mass tunnel support interaction is concerned, let us try to write all the calculation sequences and then what we will do is we will take up an example and uh, we will try to solve and understand uh, this particular phenomena that how the analysis and the design of the support system can be carried out for uh, uh, any typical uh, underground excavation using Ladani's analysis. So, what we are going to do is in the next two classes we will learn that what are going to be the calculation sequences for each and every task what all things which are needed as the input parameter and then in uh, uh, the third class from now we will learn with the help of an excel uh, example that how we can approach to solve such type of analysis problem. So, we have uh, the typical sequence for the interaction analysis. So, the first step in that is that we need the required support line for the rock mass. So, first we will do the calculations for this. Then we will find out what is the support stiffness and the maximum support pressure for concrete or the shortcrete lining. Then we will see what is the support stiffness and the maximum support pressure for blocked steel sets followed by the support stiffness and the maximum support pressure for ungrouted mechanically or chemically anchored rock bolts or cables and then we will need the available support curve for the single support system and then finally for the combined support system. So, each and every step of these six steps that I mentioned here we already have learnt. All we are going to do is compile everything and put them in a proper sequence. So, when we try to solve uh, any analysis or when we try to carry out any analysis, it is just that we will follow this sequence one after the other. So, in this connection, let us take the first step where we want or where we need the required support line for the rock mass. So, for such thing, what all are the input data required? Let us try to note them down. So, the first one is the sigma c which is uniaxial compressive strength of intact rock mass. Then we have or we can say that it is of the intact rock. Then we have M and S which are the material constants for original rock mass. E is the modulus of elasticity of original rock mass. Then nu be the Poisson's ratio of original rock mass. Then we have MR and SR which will be material constants for 
broken rock mass then we have gamma r which is the unit weight of broken rock mass then p not is in situ stress magnitude and r i is the radius of tunnel so for the required support line for the rock mass these are the data that would be needed as a starting point so what is going to be the calculation sequence so the first one is step a we will calculate capital m all these things we have already discussed all i am doing is putting them at one place in a proper sequence half m by 4 whole square plus m into p not upon sigma c plus s to the power half minus m upon 8 then we will find out this term d which is equal to minus m divided by m plus 4 m upon sigma c p not minus m sigma c plus s to the power half then the next step is calculate capital n which is 2 into p not minus m sigma c divided by m r into sigma c plus s r upon m r square to the power half so these are the first uh, three steps that you need to do then uh, followed by the next one which is uh, d that is for pi greater than p not minus m sigma c the deformation around the tunnel is elastic so what we have is uh, ui upon rio will be equal to 1 plus nu upon e into p not minus pi and the next step is for pi less than p not minus m sigma c we will have the plastic failure around the tunnel and in this case we will have ue upon re is equal to 1 plus nu upon e into m times sigma c so basically for these two we will also need to give input pi so when we solve the uh, problem in excel then you will uh, note that how do we vary this uh, pi starting from uh, p not that is the in situ state of stress now the next step is going to be that we need to find out the Uh, radius of the elastoplastic boundary so that will be uh, r e upon r i is equal to e to the power n minus 2 times p i upon m r sigma c plus s r upon 
एम आर स्क्वायर टू दी पावर हाफ देन वी हैव दी नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट इज वेन वी फाइंड आउट दिस आर ई अपॉन आर आई वी विल कंपेयर इट विद द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री सो आर ई अपॉन आर आई इफ इट इज लेस दैन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री वी विल फाइंड आउट कैपिटल आर एज टू डी एल एन आर ई अपॉन आर आई एंड इफ वी हैव आर ई अपॉन आर आई greater than square root of 3 we have r as 1.1 times d and then we find out what is e average which was 2 ue upon re into re upon ri whole square this whole thing divided by R e upon R i whole square minus one into one plus one upon R. So this is how uh, we can uh, find out uh, this e average. The next step to find out the support line for the rock mass that is uh, J. We find out capital A. Which is two U E upon R E minus E average multiplied by R E upon R I whole square. Then we have uh, as K U I upon R I O is equal to one minus one minus E average by one plus A to the power half. Then we need to uh, plot uh, the ur ui upon ri uh, against the support pressure so in this case if you recall we discussed that the weight of the broken zone of the rock mass should be added or subtracted depending upon whether it is for roof or for floor so for uh, the roof of the tunnel we need to plot ui upon rio against it will be pi plus gamma r re minus ri divided by po and uh, for the side walls of the tunnel we know that the weight of the broken uh, rock mass uh, in the roof portion will not influence uh, the side walls of the tunnel so here we will just plot ui upon rio against pi upon po but what will happen to the floor in that case we have to again take care of the uh, weight of the broken zone so for the floor of tunnel we need to plot ui upon rio against pi minus gamma r R e minus R i divided by P naught. So this is how that uh, we can uh, determine the required support line for the rock mass or uh, kind of uh, ground response curve for the rock mass. But what about the support system? So let us take a look that what all going to be the input data needed. for the determination of support stiffness and the maximum support pressure for the concrete or the short crete lining so the list of uh, the data that is uh, needed will include ec as uh, the modulus of elasticity of concrete or 
short crete then we have new c which is the poisons ratio of concrete or short crete then we have tc which is the thickness of lining then we have ri tunnel radius and finally we will need the ucs of concrete or uh, the short crete that is represented as sigma c of concrete so this is a uh, uniaxial compressive strength of concrete or short crete now once we have this uh, then how can we determine the support stiffness and the maximum support pressure for concrete or the short crete lining so for that we need to follow this uh, that is uh, for the support stiffness which is represented as k sub c which is equal to ec into ri square minus ri minus tc whole square divided by 1 plus nu c 1 minus 2 nu c into ri square plus ri minus tc whole square so this is how we can determine the support stiffness coming to the maximum support pressure which we will be representing as psc max that is equal to half sigma c of concrete into 1 minus ri minus tc whole square divided by ri square so this is how the support stiffness and the maximum support pressure for a concrete or the short crete lining uh, can be obtained so as i mentioned to you that all we are doing is we are uh, trying to put all these calculation sequences at one place to facilitate uh, that what all are going to be the systematic way of uh, taking up this rock mass tunnel support analysis using ladani's method so in all we had uh, six uh, steps so two steps we saw along with their calculation sequences so remaining four uh, we will take up uh, in the next class followed by an example that we will solve using uh, excel and there we will generate the ground response curve and the support reaction curve for a particular problem thank you very much